I think in terms of um, something a little bit different at a great price, these wagons very much fit the bill. Hi there to you, I hope I find you well, it's great to see you. I'm Jenny Kirk, welcoming you back to the channel up here to the loft on Weir Yard. And well, today we're going to be looking at some more of the new old stock bargains that are out there if you know where to look. And of course, as prices get ever more expensive, I know a lot of people say that this hobby is starting to try and price them out a little bit, but that doesn't have to be the case. There's a lot of model shops out there, perhaps not the, uh, you know, the, the big volume sellers uh, that you know, we're very familiar with. Some of the smaller shops that still have an internet presence that you can still buy mail order from. And the Hereford Model Centre video that I did really showed that there were some bargains out there just waiting to be bought. And I know a lot of you guys did really well out of that. You've pretty much cleared the shelves there. So I've turned my attention to another model shop that has a great online presence and possibly a little bit more well known. It's TMC based up in the North Yorkshire Moors. And uh, I've been browsing through their website after I spotted an advert for a few bits and pieces. And really there's some really amazing bargains on there. So I've bought a few of these mystery shopper style didn't tell them that uh, I was going to do a video like this. <laughs> I still haven't at the time of recording this intro asked if it's okay to link to them, but I'm sure they're going to be okay with that. Uh, but I picked up a few of their wagons. I bought stuff from them in the past and uh, they're very, very big on special commissions. So we're going to be looking through a few of the models that they have available. And there's one in particular that really, it, it's an absolute steal at the price that they've got. So without further ado, and in association with today's sponsor, Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories. And let's take a good look at what I found. So I've been doing a bit of mystery shopping and the items that I have found are these four from TMC. Now they were originally known as Trafford Model Centre, started out in the Festival Village uh, in the Trafford Centre in Manchester, hence the name. They then opened a range of shops, uh, changed the name a little bit to The Model Centre, same initials, uh, but um, just uh, kind of referenced the fact that they were more than just being in the Trafford Centre. Family owned business, still is. The shops got sold on to a Model Zone, but uh, the rest of the business, including the special commissions and the weathering and the renumbering, uh, they moved up to uh, in the North Yorkshire Moors, still in business, still going really well. And they've got a very comprehensive website. And I've had a browse on there because somebody tipped me off that there's a lot of wagons that you could consider new old stock at some amazing prices. So I bought um, Completely Mystery Shopper, just um, went on, had a look around, and I picked up these four. Now you'll notice from the suffix letters with the Zs and the X on the one on the top there, these are all special commissions for the model centre. And it's one of the big things that they do, uh, commissioning um, either bespoke livery versions of items that are unique to them, uh, but also they do commission full ranges of all new wagons and locomotives, uh, which is a great way of getting some of these models into the ready to run ranges. Um, and it does mean that we've got a G5 forthcoming from them, really looking forward to that and particularly the MEO coal wagon. But with these, um, we've got the double bolster wagons, which um, as it, at the time of recording are still exclusive to TMC. But the prices are what really caught my eye. For just over £18 a wagon, um, that's actually a really great price in this day and age because the prices from back then have gone up and up and uh, it does mean that shops that have done special commissions whilst they um, will always pretty much charge the RRP of the day as that RRP moves on 
these actually become a very, very favourable way of picking up wagons compared to brand new stock items coming through. So although there isn't a main range equivalent of these, there may be at some point in the future, but at the moment, £18 for a wagon such as this is actually probably in the region of half what you would pay if these were being commissioned today. So they've got a really great range of these. And the three that I've picked, uh, as you can see there, we've got the double bolster wagon in the BR Brown. We've got the um, plate wagon, which is without the bolster, same wagon, in the BR Grey, Lackenby Works. And I got this actually because Lackenby Works is up in the northeast or was up in the northeast. So this would be a perfect wagon for passing through Weir Yard. Now I've also got. Uh, the 22-ton double bolster wagon in the BR Departmental Grey and Olive livery. Although, as you can see, it's more grey and uh, actually the olive looks almost black, but certainly it's going for something of a slightly different livery there. And these will add to my fleet, uh, which I already have, that I bought uh, some while ago. Um, two others from the range. So I've got them here. They've been out of the box, been on Weir Yard. And we've got the Engineers Olive Green Reach Wagon. And then we've also got this um, with the TOPS code ZDO. And uh, both of these, as far as I can tell, are still available at the same price as these. And there's a lot more beside. Um, I was quite staggered, actually, how many different variants of these they've got. Plus, they do special bespoke loads that you can buy to go on them from trestles, plates, and kind of a dumbbell pig iron type uh, load as well. So there's a variety of the loads that the prototypes would have carried as well, which I think is a great little touch. And at just over £18 for these, um, I thought that that was a great price for what is actually a really nice wagon. I think we did review one, if not both of these, back in the day when I got them. Uh, it's a couple of years now. And they did score very, very highly. I really do like them. So the opportunity to get three more of these. And I'm just going to put that to one side. I will talk about that in a moment because that, for me, is one of the standout bargains. But I'm going to get these now out of the box. And uh, you can see as well they come with uh, a detail bag with some extra uh, buffer beam uh, stuff like um, you know, the, the vacuum pipes, chains, that kind of thing. But these are a really lovely model. You can see there's a lot of separately fitted metal detail, including these. They are actually poseable, so you could fit like a ratchet strap type thing. Uh, well, it'd be a chain hooked on over the top. You can buy some very, very fine chain from the likes of jewellers and even some of the model railway suppliers do supply it. But this detail is exquisite in there. So as you'll see from the... Uh, the departmental version, we do have those differences going on there, which is really nice that they tooled all of those up. I think in terms of um, something a little bit different at a great price, these wagons very much fit the bill. And it should also be noted as well that uh, certainly at the time of recording this, TMC have got an offer on with postage and any order over £50 is uh, sent out, uh, certainly within the UK, post free. So we're saving a little bit more there as well. And um, with a, a price point of £50 to, to get that, it, it's not going to break the bank. I think I paid about £67, £65, something like that across four wagons. Uh, so I got them post free and I'm really, really pleased with that. And as you can see, a lot of different uh, livery options, all of them fitted very, very nicely. And they are also, uh, well, TMC also have an offer on at the moment for renumbering. So you could buy a number of these uh, identical wagons and have them professionally renumbered. And of course, um, also TMC is quite famous for the different weathering options as well, ranging from light weathering through to um, an, a very in-depth weathering. So you can, if you wish to, get them to weather the wagons as well. So there's my um, three that I bought, plus the two that I already had. And they very quickly make up a really nice, distinctive train of wagons. Now I'm gonna put these to one side, and I am concentrating in this video on some of their special commissions uh, because 
Um, I just felt that they offered a great value for money to have something a little bit different. Now, they do have a lot of the coal wagons uh, from the Backman main range. I saw some of the Northeastern, Great Western and Southern Railway liveried um, open wagons in the both five and seven plank varieties for around the £14 mark, which is a very good price. Uh, but this, for me, if there's one wagon you buy from there, this has to be it. At um, under £13, it's about £12.88, something like that. This is an amazing bargain. So I'm going to show you the code there, 38-191X, 10 ton BR insulated van, BR white weathered, exclusive edition. And when you think that the, the wagons that um, these are derived from, I've got one here, in the main range now are going to be going for double, if not more than double that price. This is an incredibly good offer. And when I bought this, it showed that they had more than 10 in stock and it still showed more than 10 in stock after I bought this. So this is, is my recommendation for the must have item. Buy it now because just like we saw with the Hereford Model Center, as soon as people start to know that they're there, they are going to sell very, very quickly. So we've got the Bankman uh, fully detailed uh, ventilated van. I'm just looking there, actually. The planking is slightly different. You can see, actually, that's interesting. I hadn't realised that. So we are getting some variety even between the different wagons. So you can see we've got the, the narrow planks, which the main range one doesn't have. In fact, I'm going to just have a look over here. And I think these were a special commission from another shop. But yes, you can see that there's that difference in planking, which is a great way of getting variety into your wagon fleet. But for under £13, for a factory weathered edition, not even withstanding that this is a special commission, this really is a must-have item. You can see there, really nicely finished, as an ale wagon empty to Park Royal, that's in London. It's actually where the Guinness um, was brewed up until comparatively recently. We've also got some other branding on there. And again, this is, you can add extra weathering to this if you want. Uh, they do have an option to specify that for an additional cost. Um, and certainly if they offer renumbering for these wagons, then at that price, um, it is worth just ordering a massive rake of these and have them all renumbered. It's amazingly good value for money. Uh, and uh, I'm just staggered that I'm still finding this kind of bargain out there. Why are they not all sold? Because that is an incredibly good, low value for money price for what actually is from Backman, a really good, solid wagon release. So I'm going to put that there. Really is my, my, my pick of the bunch. Um, also on there, and these are things that I've bought in the past, um, it's still available. Uh, going all the way back to uh, Steam Era, Era 2 to 3. We've got the Annesley Triple Pack. I've not got the box for these out at the moment. It's all packaged away because these have been in my collection for some time now. But that tells you that, of course, the RRP, whilst it was the full RRP of these wagons at the time, the RRP for these triple packs is now up to something like something um, quite staggering, like 70, 75 pounds. And these offer a substantial saving over that current RRP, which is why I want to include these in my new old stock. One of the other areas as well that um, TMC did a number of different commissions was the Mark I horse box. And I've got three of them here. Now they have done a second production run of these, but the quite a few of the first production run as well are still available. Now the wagon itself has passed on into the Bankman main range, but actually at a much higher price. Um, it's a bit like what we saw when Model Zone commissioned the TPO. And it seemed quite expensive until when Backman introduced their range, prices had gone up. And it made the special commission actually cheaper than the main range version. And that's very much the case with these. You can get them factory weathered, factory unweathered. They've even got uh, the preserved example that's at the National Railway Museum. 
uh, resplendent across the two different liveries. You can buy them as a double pack or in singles. There is a lot of options with these to make something like a race day train. And at around, I think it's 25 to 27 pounds per single one. That is actually a really good price. Um, they compare incredibly favorably, which is why I'm happy to put these into the new old stock category. Now, I think they've also got the triple set of the Backman Ice Blue Ventilator Wagon. Now, this is the livery that, uh, to bring this one back in, that's the earlier BR livery, and this is the slightly later. They kind of changed colour, although you can mix and match a little bit. A lot of these wagons went on into other uses, like the Ale Wagon, as you see there. So you can mix and match with these perfectly fine. Again, Really great Backman model, comes factory weathered in the triple pack and because they've had these in stock for a little while now, they are actually less than what you would be buying similar pack packs of three vans for from Backman. So again, really, really pleased to show these off in the new old stock. There's a lot of other stuff on there. There's locomotives as well. But I just want to highlight all of these. And of course, some of the other commissions, if you hunt around, uh, you might get lucky and find them still available. They've commissioned, for example, a TEA. Uh, this is a uh, uh, TMC special commission that I got a while back. And you can see there's really nice weathering effects on that. Now, I don't know whether they've still got any of these in stock, but they may have something similar. And uh, one of the other areas where it's, it's a must to have these. If you have class three, class four, class five shunters, these are the ones that go with them for the BR blue period. Now these uh, match trucks, the, the point of these was that the wheelbase on the things like the class three shunters was too short for it to reliably show up in the track circuits, places like um, Newcastle Central Station, um, Hull Botanical Gardens is another place that they got used. They really did turn up around the system, usually made from redundant Conflat A's and other similar wagons. Um, they would be uh, just, they would live with the locomotive so that the locomotive plus the single wagon would be long enough to make sure that they did show up on the detection, the track detection circuits. So if you've got a class three shunter or a class four shunter, or even a class five shunter, I believe some of them did work with these as well. Uh, certainly also around Norwich uh, was another location uh, where they were used a lot. These are a very much a must-have commission. And as you can see from what I'm holding in my hand here, it's three different wagons. TMC have commissioned um, different runs of these over the years. And I always keep an eye out for them because they are well worth picking up. Um, from the top of my head, I think there is one of these liveries that they may still have some left. It's worth going and checking it out because once they sell out, it may be quite a wait until another run comes through. So there's my picks from TMC. We're going to put a link down in the description box down below. As I always say, um, if you do uh, go and buy something, if there is an opportunity, just say that I sent you. Uh, I'm not making a single penny out of this. It's just simply done as a service to you guys, just to highlight the really great bargains that are still out there, new old stock, and the video that we did with the Hereford Model Center uh, range was so successful, I thought it was important to try and do it again. Now I'm gonna go away and I'm gonna try and find another shop that I can go through their new old stock. And hopefully we'll have another one of these videos coming to uh, just keep you informed in the near future. Well, I hope you found that video really, really interesting. And like I said in there, uh, we've got a link in the description box that takes you to their website. Just have a great hunt around. And sometimes that's part of the fun, isn't it? You know, just sort of window shopping your way through, picking up bits and pieces that you really like the look of. And quite often in the case of these, you may not even know that you wanted something before you see it and you think that is an amazing price. I know that is quite often how I shop for stuff. So that's part of the fun, isn't it? And if you do get an opportunity and you did find the TMC sale and picked up some great bargains because of this video, then don't forget to share this video. And let other people know about the great bargains out there so that they can find some great deals as well. And if you do get a chance, do tell TMC that you came via this video. Also, tickle that like button, and if you haven't already done so, 
do consider subscribing to the channel and ringing that bell and you'll be the first to know about new videos as and when they go up. But until next time, I'm Jennifer Kirk saying you take great care of yourself. Hope to see you again. Take care, happy modeling. Bye for now. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshore Allen, oorail.co.uk, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Andy Finch, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grantline Products, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYMRish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Graham Foster, and Clifford Ison. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.